Now, the Snapdragon 865 has been announced. Qualcomm have also shown off the Qualcomm reference device that is a smartphone with a Snapdragon 865, which could show what the performance would be in a smartphone from, let's say, Samsung or LG or OnePlus or whoever. And so we got some time to do some speed test GX testing on this, and we're going to test it now against the Galaxy Note 10 Plus with the Snapdragon 855. So Snapdragon 865 versus Snapdragon 855. Are you ready? Let's go. So we have the Qualcomm reference device with the Snapdragon 865 on the left hand side. We have the Galaxy Note 10 Plus with the Snapdragon 855 on the right hand side. Now, of course, we were expecting the Snapdragon 865 to win. The question is by how much and did you see the SQL light test there on the left hand side? They're much, much faster than what we saw on the right hand side. That's also given an extra speed boost there to the Qualcomm reference device. However, of course, we're expecting it to be faster anyway. And as we have now gone through the compression test, we're into the 16 thread test on the left hand side, whereas the compression test is still churning its way through there on the right hand side. As I said, that is now gone into the 16 thread test. 16 thread test is now finishing on the left hand side as we're into the blur test, which of course is the beginning of the mixed CPU GPU part of this test run. At the end, we're only going to see the Unity test because this is speed test GX. We only had time to do uh, uh, the Speedtest GX test run. We did six of them to make sure these are consistent times, but this was... Now, the smoke particle test there is probably looking a bit black because of the camera. We can just see it there, 28 frames a second there on the left-hand side, as already the QRD is into the UTI test as it's now going to go through this test, and we're going to see what the final test time is at the very, very end. 18, 19 frames a second for the smoke particle test on the right-hand side, as now the Note 10 is now into the test. There we go, 1 minute, 16. 16.24 the reference device as the note 10 plus is now finishing its test run through the unity test what's its final time going to be what is the difference between the 865 and the 855 and this will only get bigger when we see real devices coming out from samsung and sony and so on there we go one minute 33.8 okay let's break down those times and see how much of a win it is by the snapdragon 865 so clearly the Qualcomm reference device won with the Snapdragon 865, 1 minute 16.2, and then 17.6 seconds later, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus came in 1 minute 33.8. We look at the CPU times, we can see a big difference there, 36.6 versus 45.3, that's an 8.7 second difference. So a big improvement there between the CPU in the 855 and the CPU in the 865. When we get to the mixed CPU GPU, again, we see the same kind of thing 22.6 versus 27.1 a 4.5 seconds difference there between the two devices and then when we get to the gpu the all important gpu test 16.9 for the qualcomm reference device 21.3 so this is the adreno 640 versus the adreno 650 running at the same screen resolution we can see a bit difference there of 4.4 seconds between the two devices when you add up all those numbers you get a clear win by the qualcomm reference device snapdragon 865 for the win, 1 minute 16.2. My name is Gary Sims. This is Speed SG. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do consider giving it a thumbs up. And why not stick around by subscribing to the channel? Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.